Hi team, welcome to this video. Here I'm going to take you through how we close a job in Zero Practice Manager. So there are some checks that we want to run to make sure that we close our job correctly, ensuring we do a correct whip wash up, which will correctly allocate our write ups or our write offs on the job to the appropriate tasks, but also to the appropriate staff so we can get effective reporting on the performance of our practice. So let's jump in, we'll check it out together. Right, so I've got this job here for the 2021 annual engagement for Action Animal Centre. Now, as you can see, it's been set up correctly because I've got my budget entered, my categories entered, I've got my partner and my manager entered, and also I've got all of my estimated times in here. Now, the first check that we want to do is we want to make sure that all of our time is entered, and the best way to do that is to make sure that all of our tasks have been completed. So I can see here that all my quarterly coaching tasks have had the time entered and they've been checked off as complete, which is great. My annual accounts preparation task has had all the time entered and we've managed to hit it dead on budget. Now the annual accounts reviewer looks like uh, Ruben here has forgotten to complete that task. So the first thing I wanna do is check with Ruben to make sure he's finished uh, all his time. And I speak to him and he says, yes, he has. So I tell him off for not completing his tasks. But once that's done, I can check this, which means that there's no more time to be entered against any of these tasks. So I know they are all completed. So step one, make sure all tasks are checked off as complete, which means all our time has been entered. The next step is to look at our costs. You want to make sure that all your costs on the job have been marked as actual costs. And you can see here we've got this one cost here for zero business edition annual for $720. Now, at the moment, this is an estimated cost, so this is not recognized as work in progress on our job. So as part of closing out our job, we wanna make sure that that is checked as an actual cost. What this has just done is it's increased our work in progress by $720, and what we're gonna do after we've done this is a whip wash up. So step two is to make sure all of our costs are entered. So next thing, we wanna make sure all of our invoices are on the job. So my invoice total here, you can see that we've got uh, 1800 and we've got 5400 so that equals if we go back to our job budget $7,200 so you can look at it in here in our costs but we can also come down here and see the total of our invoices so the reason we're seeing 8 to uh, 80 is because it's got GST as well but that is $7,200 if we want to check that we can always click in and see that we've got 1800 here plus the 5400 here. So we're pretty happy that all of our invoices are entered. So those are the first three checks. Has all of our time been entered? And the way we check that is by checking our tasks have been marked as completed. The second step is making sure all of our costs have been set up as actual costs or been marked as actual costs. The third is, is all of our invoicing on the job? If there are any invoices missing, we may wanna go look in zero to make sure that there have been any that haven't been sent through. And then we wanna make sure those are sent through. Uh, or we may need to do our invoicing out of this job. So those are the first three things, time, costs, and invoices. The next step is our whip wash up. And we do that by hitting this button here, remove from invoice list. This is a very important step, because at the moment we just have work in progress sitting on this job, but we haven't. Uh, we, but what we wanna do is take that work in progress and then write that off to give us a write up or a write off on the job. What I wanna do before I do that, I'm just gonna open up the whip ledger. So I've got this whip ledger over here. If I just hit refresh, what's going to happen is you're about to see this disbursement created on the job because this is now work in progress. Hit refresh. Now we have this disbursement. So you can see we've got all of our time entries down here. So Ruben putting two and a half hours to annual accounts review. And then me, I've put all this time here against these other tasks. We've got two interims here. We've got an interim for 1800 and one for 5400, totaling 7200, which was the budget on the job. So what I'm going to do in a moment is do a whip wash up. And what that'll do is it'll take these two amounts here and it'll reverse them out and it'll portion that 7200 across all of these uh, costs and time entries. So first will be a portion to our cost. So 7,200, so 720 will go straight to this cost and the remaining amount will be apportioned over all our time entries. So let's go ahead and do that. So I go remove from invoice list, go yes. Then you'll notice all of this disappears here. So if I jump back into my whip ledger now and I hit refresh, you're gonna see all of our invoiced and write-ons come through. Just like that. So now what we can see here is our invoice has all been washed out and we've got, we've got a write-on on this job of $1,120. And that's been a portion across all of these timesheet entries. So Ruben is gonna be allocated $104.48 of a write-up and then I'm gonna be allocated the remaining, which is all of these entries down here. So the largest write-up will be the 752, and that's because the billable amount on that entry was uh, 3,600. So the write-up has been apportioned based on the billable amount on each task. 
So how the write-ups are apportioned is first we take all of our revenue and we apportion the first portion of it to our costs and we'll have no write-ups in there and any remaining gets apportioned over all of those time entries and if you're if you build more than is billable you'll have a write-up if you build less than is what is billable you'll have a write-off so now that i've done my whip wash up on this job the last thing i need to do is update the job state to be completed and i do that by going to information and then updating it to be uh, uh, so you can either have uh, archived or completed whatever your finalized job state is you want to change it to there what that will do as you'll see in a moment is it'll allocate a completed date so if I go back to the job you'll see now it's been given at a completed date of the 8th of October so we know it's been completed because it's now been allocated a completed date so those five steps again were firstly to make sure that all of our tasks have been marked as completed that lets us know that there's no more time to be entered on the job we then want to go and make sure all of our costs have been marked as actual costs. That is going to increase our work in progress by the value of those costs. Our third step is to ensure all of our invoicing is on the job. So a good way to check that is to make sure the total amount of invoices matches the job budget. Once we've done that, we've got all of our work in progress and we've got all of our invoices. So our work in progress is correct on our job. We then want to do our whip wash up, which takes all the revenue and apportions it across the time and the costs on the job, giving us a write up or a write off, depending whether we go over or under budget. The last step and the fifth step is to mark the job state into a completed state, which will give it a completed date in the job. So make sure you do those five steps before you close jobs out and that'll ensure that we get good reporting on our job profitability and also on our staff performance. Hope that all makes sense and I'll see you in the next video.